Covering Colorado, Parks and Wildlife officers believe there is strong evidence that at least one pack of wolves is living in our state. Yeah, native wolves were eradicated, you may recall, decades ago, but the discovery of, a, of paw prints near an elk carcass in Moffat County suggest wild populations are migrating back. Our Andy Cohen in studio tonight, and Andy, this wildlife story has political implications. Boy, it seems like everything is political, no. doesn't it, Robert Elizabeth? But that's right. Voters in Colorado are going to be asked this fall whether to reintroduce gray wolves here directly, similar to the reintroduction that occurred at Yellowstone Park decades ago. But these discoveries suggest that some wolves are already here. Wolves, like this taxidermied one, were once common in Colorado, but that was many years ago. Wolves were extirpated from the state um, a long time ago. Extirpated means locally extinct. Which makes the recent discovery of elk remains thought to be killed by a pack of wild wolves so unique. It happened in a similar area to where a hunter recorded this clip of a pack back in October. To our knowledge, this is the first time we've had a pack within the state. Um, probably since the 1940s. Gray wolves are an endangered species, and as such, their populations are managed by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. They were reintroduced in Yellowstone decades ago. Colorado Parks and Wildlife formed a working group anticipating migration here. And the plan um, expected this to happen. We were anticipating natural migration of wolves into Colorado. But some believe the extended absence of wolves hurt local ecology. The Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center okay. explained in September that deer and elk herds are overpopulated. We certainly need them here to restore the balance. You need predator and prey to make that balance. Voters will be asked this fall whether to reintroduce wolves directly, something that hunters and ranchers have said is a bad idea. If you bring wolves back in on a large scale, it's going to be detrimental to the wildlife. The system is working like it should. They're introducing themselves at a rate that's manageable. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officers want to hear from the public when there is a wolf sighting. You can report those sightings online, and we've linked to that page at koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.